Hello YouTube fans. I have got a white XLT metal detector and I have ordered it and the battery is bad. Um, it, it's an old machine. The guy said he wasn't sure if the battery would stay charged and it doesn't. This one also, it came with a normal battery pack that you could put regular double A's in. So, I got to looking online and, and figured out too how to take these battery packs apart. So I'm going to show you how to rebuild one pretty quick. Sometimes they glue these edges here, as you see, and they'll pop off if you, well, that one just slid right out. Work it a little bit, and it'll pop loose. As you see, it's got a 9.6V battery pack inside. I've already been inside of it to look at it because I've done my research on it. I got online on the um, internet and ordered this battery pack here. This is the 9.6V. I think this is a NICD battery, and it's a 18 or yeah, 1800 milliamp. I think it is, but it's the exact same battery pack as this, but it's in a different form. I'm going to take this battery pack, this new one out, um, old one out, and put the new one in. So this is only like um, six dollars on the internet, and it's free shipping. It took about two weeks to get here. This actual battery pack, if you buy this from Whites, you're going to pay probably 80 to 100 dollars for it. So I'm going to show you how to rebuild it really quick. You pop the battery out. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it has got some um, melting, or not melting, but it's just the corrosion where the battery pack's bad. Take a pair of pliers. Always remember your positive and negative. You might want to mark this, which it is on here. I'm going to twist this end off. Pop it loose. Same way with this. Pop it loose. Alright, now my battery pack is free. I'm going to take this battery pack here. As you see, they're, they're the same exact battery pack. This is the NIC. I don't know if you can see this or not. But, let's see, the paper has bent. Let me see if I can curl this back around for you. Alright, yeah, if you can see, it's the NIC right here. Same battery pack. This might be a little bit less milliamps, but this right here will work just as good with a stock charger. I'm going to carefully take my knife and pick it and peel this cover off of it. I've just exposed the wiring. I'm going to clip this out, so don't, um, when you do this, kind of be careful with it. And don't try to short anything out. Alright, there we go. There's what it looks like. It's identical. Take the tape off of it. First, we've got to get these wires off. All you need to do is expose the positive and negative end on these terminals. That's all you want to do. Get it to where you can get some solder on it here, and I'll show you here in a minute how to do that. Alright. One moment, let me get some scissors. I'm going to cut this terminal end right there. It's much simpler there. And put the process over here. Now these ends will still be raised exactly like a normal battery pack will. See that's positive and this is negative over here. And we'll reach up in there, clip that end off. Now this battery pack actually went to a remote control car or a little 9.6V, but it's the exact same battery pack that goes to these white XLT. And a lot of the White's machines take this same battery pack, so. Alright. We've got it opened up. You can see where we need to solder. My solder iron is already heated up.
I'm going to clean these ends off a little bit. Let's make sure the solder sticks really good. You see how that looks? How it just a heat to it? That's what you want to see. We're going to roll it over and do the same thing on this side. Alright, see that? It's set right up against it. We want the same results over here on the terminals that we cut. Alright, that one worked pretty good. Let's see how this one will work. Excellent. Alright, now we're going to find our positive, roll it over. Hold it to it right there. Press down on it a little bit. Let it get a good bond. Let it set for a second. Mike can blow on it. You don't want to move it. All right. My positive, on my positive, we're going to do the negative now. Actually, let me put some more on this because I've done this. Oh, no, I didn't. It'll work. All right. I'm going to lay this right on top of that again. Put some more on that. I don't like the way that looks. Make sure you got a good bond between that. Just press down right there. Sometimes it can be difficult. It all depends on how you set it up. solder. This one's being a booger right here. We'll get it. Let's make sure it's got a good bond. Let it set for a minute. Oh, it broke loose. Try it one more time. Well, this one's not wanting to work too well for some reason. Let's try this again. Alright, I think we got a better bond this time. Not want to hold for some reason. Let's try it again. Bend it over. Get some solder on this end and see what happens. There we go. Get a good bond. That was our problem. No bond, so it ain't going to hold. Set it back around. <clears throat> Not this time we got it. Must have had some trash on it from the factory or something. Normally you want to clean these things. They got some stuff you can put in on it and clean it. Alright, so what we're going to do is take this thing and squeeze it in there. Push it in. Just like so. And push these tabs down in the hole here. Just like this. That is how you rebuild a battery pack from white. It's done. Let me 
I got some shavings in there. We'll get rid of that. All right. This battery pack hasn't been charged yet, so it should work. It should still have some charge to it. Here we go. Brand new battery pack. That's how you do it. Very simple. Less than a probably a 10 minute repair. Thank you.